Hi everyone. Let's try this for a third time. My kids keep coming in. So you see, well, there's no foundation, no nothing on my face except for a glorious eye primer, which I just dropped. So, glorious primer. If you can see it. I put that all over my face, letting it dry. Now, since I don't have the concealer brush, I use my cream foundation brush to put on my concealer. So, only takes a couple minutes for the primer to dry. Just need a tiniest amount. Now, my color is chiffon because, as you see, I have a lot of red. Sorry, the sun's shining outside. A lot of red on my face. Hopefully this video turns out. Yeah, I put it under the eye on one of my scars. A freckle that came out. A little bit on my nose. And under the eye again. So, you see? I got dots all over my face. Now I will just... Ooh. I put on a little bit too much. It's okay. I got like dark in be in the corner, inner corner of my eyes. So I put the foundation the concealer there to hide that dark spot. I'm trying to do this quickly. If you wanted to, you can use your finger to put on a concealer. But I like using a brush. Get it all over the hide underneath my eyes. My nose is really bad. It has lots of red in it. So I try and hide a lot of that redness. Again, the inner corner, and it won't look so dark. see I spread the concealer everywhere you can still see a little bit of the bags but hopefully that'll go away when I put on the foundation I don't have the new foundation brush yet it's coming in so I use the powder puff brush here's the liquid foundation you want to shake it up I use about five drops. Five drops. And just dab around my face. And then circular motions to get it in place. It's nice, it's quick, and it's easy. Spread it down your neck. 
so it all blends nicely. And you're done. So there is the flawless pour. No more red. See? No more redness. I can't quite cover that scar, but it lessens it. So that's what I like. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a nice day.